Hello everyone! So it's no secret that you guys like my feather paintings. They are so easy and fun to paint, but this time I am really going to blow your minds. I am painting a feather with a feather. Let's get right into it. Today's episode is sponsored by Skillshare. Now today I've got something different. A little break from the flowers. So I was clearing my wardrobe and I found this feather boa. And I had an idea. So what if we try to paint a feather with a feather? This is my canvas today. I thought it's going to look nice on an oval one. It's 40 centimeters by 30. It's already primed. And we are going to be using very minimalist color scheme. Only three colors on the black background. These are my colors today. We've got silver, gold, titanium white and this is white as well but this is pearl white and I'm going to show you the consistency so can you see a little build up it runs down the stick really nicely uninterrupted stream and a little build up I put one part of paint to one part of my pouring medium which is water with PVA glue. I mix it really well and then I added roughly 30% of Floetrol. I don't actually measure anything and then when it's a bit too thick I just spray some water like this and mix it well. The most important thing is to have every single color the same consistency. So background color first. I'm spreading it nicely, just like icing the cake. I do have this special knife for icing the cake, but I quite like this one. I can see some air bubbles. This is just a chef's torch, because lots of you are asking. There's a link in the description if you're interested. So far, I've done two individual feather tutorials but I don't do feathers all the time so this will be my third big feather I've done one short as well one feather was on white background the other one was on black but was very colorful this one is going to be stylish now I'm going to use a pipette and I'm going to get some white into it so I'm pressing it and filling it with white paint hope that's going to be enough okay so let's start doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to cover the whole section with colors now. Now I'm going to be adding my other colors randomly. Oh well that's easy to remove. That's the beauty of pouring acrylics you can change everything. So I'm drizzling my colors. This is pearl white. Now I'm thinking perhaps I'm going to add a drop of silicone to my gold just for some fancy effect. So let's do it. I will add two drops. And this is coconut hair serum, which is a dimethicon product. But you can use any silicone. I just like this one. I mean, every product gives you slightly different effects, I think. But if you mix well, you have smaller cells. And if you don't mix much, you have much bigger. But I definitely want really, really small ones. That's probably more than enough. I'm just thinking maybe I'll add a bit more white because my white at the bottom just sank completely. So a little bit of titanium white. I'm so curious whether the feathers will work. I also prepared my napkins just in case, in case I need to swipe a bit more. Okay, I think we are ready. So shall we start with a feather or shall we start with 
just a paper napkin first. Before we get swiping with some feathers, I would like to thank today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creatives like you and me. Do you have a skill you are trying to learn? Skillshare is the place to start. With thousands of classes from painting, illustration to freelancing and more, you can find a class tailor-made to fit any schedule and skill level. As it's the start of the new year, I've been doing a lot of reflecting on my process as an artist and I want to get better at managing my time and maximizing my creativity. To help with this, I've been taking the class Creative Breakthrough by Danielle Kreiser. Danielle outlines eight fantastic exercises to boost your creativity and create systems to help your efficiency. Maybe you can give 20 hours a week to your creative pursuits. Block off that time like you would a job. I am already starting to manage my time better. I can say with confidence that I will be able to share more content with all of you than ever this year. So keep your eyes peeled. Skillshare classes are all ad free and the first 1000 people to click the link in the video description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare Premium. This includes the entire catalog of classes as well as new premium classes that are launched every single week. Big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and helping to support the channel, which you can do as well by clicking the link in the video description. Well, I'll start with the feather and see what happens. Wow, it's so delicate. Yay, it works. Or maybe, maybe I'll just use the napkin and then I'll do the edges with the feather. How about that? Let's see. Okay, so the napkin does not give me those ends. So I, I will need a feather and a napkin. And spray each one with water just to spread it nicely so that you can adhere really well. Love the colors. All right, yeah, feather time. Look at those wispy lines. Some feathers here. And let's torch it. I think I would do better with uh, some bigger feather. But these are the only ones I had, and I that's my prototype, you know, that's my first first trial. But the wispy endings are spectacular, I think. Very feathery. Okay, so now the other side. This feather is much bigger than I planned. <laughs> it kind of grew, but I was too excited to notice that, but it's okay. I'm going to do the same first bit of a paper napkin and then I'm going to refine it with the feathers. Okay, let's turn it this way. No, no, actually this way. It looks fluffy. A 
as I said before, if I found a bigger feather, that would have been better. But I, oh no, 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 no. What are you doing? That's exactly like my boa, just in different color, isn't it? Now the midsection, I'm going to do it with my chain. This is ball chain. I'm going to dip it in white and drag it all along, which will be quite tricky because the feather is really long. breathing I actually stopped breathing oh I'll just add a few bits at the end and then we leave it to dry I'm just looking for some really small sections of my feather dipping it in white but it, the feather actually created some really lovely wispy bits doesn't that look natural well, it has to look natural because it's a feather. Sorry, but I'm excited. I'm excited if something works well. Okay, so I'm leaving it. Looks like the feather is completely dry. It's amazing, but this design, it's less than 24 hours and it's totally dry. So time for embellishment. With my white mix, I might go over some areas of the mid part to create some highlights. Perhaps not everywhere, just a little bit. Here at the end, this is not perfect here, so a little bit of white. The last thing we could do with a very small amount of black and plenty of water, create some shadows on one side. Not too dark. But as usual, it's just me. I keep adding little bits, but to be honest, I could leave it straight away as it is. I'm just showing you what you could do if you want to slightly improve it. And always remember where do you want your source of light to be. So if the light is coming from here, the shadow will be only on this side and the lighter part on the inner section. Well, I would say the feather is completely finished now. I haven't coated my paintings with resin for quite some time, but I think that this one really lends itself to resin because we can, we'll see all the lovely wisps and we'll see the shimmering metallics under the coat of resin. That's what I'm thinking. Because the painting is actually not the smallest and I want it really taut. I don't want it to sag under the, the weight of the resin. So I'm going to show you what I do, how to prepare painting for, for resin. I'm cutting an oval out of cardboard to hold the back of the painting. You can cut it with scissors or crafting knife. Now I pushed it at the back. No sagging, perfectly flat. Okay, there's one more thing we have to do. We have to wipe it carefully with either soapy water or isopropyl alcohol to remove silicone residue because obviously I put the drops of silicone in my golden paint. And now I'm using painter's tape to protect the edges. This will be my first resin oval canvas. I've done various other shapes but not an oval yet. I'm going to put the painting a bit higher just in case the resin drips down. It's also a good idea to protect your table. Because I was touching the painting, I don't want my any grease for my fingers. And I'm ready to mix the resin. We need gloves and I strongly recommend respirator. My resin is actually eco-friendly. I, I don't need it, but I don't know what, which resin you're going to use. So please do use a respirator. I'm going to use one part of resin to one part of hardener. And I think I will use uh, 200ml all together 
I'm going to mix the resin and hardener really well now for roughly 3-4 minutes. Scrape the edges so they really well combine. But I'm thinking actually now, since I've decided to use resin, I'm going to put some glitter in the resin. Okay, so ready. I'll spread it now towards the edges. I want to have a nice dough. I don't want the resin really to drip. As you can see all the air bubbles at the moment. I've got some leftover resin and I'm going to choose my glitter colour. Out of 54, I think I've decided on, what do we have? Snow White, Brilliant Silver, Iridescent Bronze, that's a nice one and antique gold just a little bit i don't want too much took my gloves off because i just to handle these better and as i said i want a small amount i think i think that's enough okay so let's just mix this low setting Wasn't that amazing? Now time for the sparkle. I'm going to use a small stick just to add a bit on the feather. I don't want any sparkle on the background. So I am applying it just in the middle and then spreading a bit. Now I'm not going to use my heat gun. I'm going to use a chef's torch to pop the bubbles. And you see how clear the resin looks now. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to protect my beautiful feather with a box. Safe. There we are. Well, I genuinely hope you all enjoyed this video. As I think you all know, I don't really like repeating pieces I've done in the past, but I just had to try this idea. Please let me know in the comments which one of my three feathers is your favorite. I'm genuinely curious. If it's your first time watching, why not subscribe? We all have a great time every Saturday when my new videos come out. I hope you're all doing great and I can't wait to see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.